Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tasha and I put out cleaning videos on this channel. I like to put them out as often as I can, but here recently I have been a little bit sporadic with my posting and I really wanna get back into like truly filming. I'll go over later on in the video of what's been going on in our lives and why I haven't been motivated to film and clean for you guys. I'm still cleaning my house. I'm still like maintaining my life, but I just haven't been taking guys along for it because I've had a few things um, bumps in the road of me stopping from filming and then also just stuck going on with my family that has weighed heavy on my heart. So I'll go over that um, a little later in the video, but for now, I wanna go ahead and walk you guys through what we're gonna be doing and we can go ahead and jump into this cleaning video. Today, I'm gonna to focus on my kitchen and my dining room area. I need to get um, it all cleaned and ready to bring out my summer lemon decor. I put away most of my Easter decor this past weekend um, when we had a brunch for Memorial weekend. Um, we had a bunch of friends over and we did like a whole brunch spread and had a lot of fun with that. We had a very rainy weekend, so we were pretty much lazy the whole weekend, but we did have that brunch. So most of the decor for Easter is put away. I just need to get all of my um, lemon decor out so that I can have some sunshine indoors and make my mood happy again. Because if you guys have been around a while, you guys know I'm obsessed with lemons and in June is typically when I start pulling that stuff out because I love the bright yellows and blues and things that I put out during the summer. It makes me so happy every morning to come in my kitchen and see nothing but lemons. So let's go ahead and jump into this. We're gonna start by getting the kitchen really nice and cleaned up as well as the dining room and then we'll start the decor process. Okay, so I figured right now would be a good time to talk to you guys about what's been going on with us while I sanitize the toys and go through my messy bowl of mail, toys that need to be sanitized, as well as junk that just collects in this bowl. This is my junk bowl. Instead of having a junk drawer, I have a junk bowl of things that need to be placed around the house or things that just find randomly, and I just stick them in this bowl. So I'm going to go through this bowl and sanitize the toys as well and just kind of clean this whole area up. So while I'm doing this, I thought I'd go ahead and tell you guys what's going on. So the last video you guys saw was the Hoarders Garage video. I did two parts for that. And after that video came out, I did film one more video, which was um, me completely organizing and cl like closet purging Tennyson's room, putting out all her new um, summer clothes. And I ended up trashing the video because I was unable to finish it when um, some family news came down and I just, I became very unmotivated. And then right after that news came down, um, a couple weeks later, my mother-in-law came to visit, which we had a fantastic visit. I really enjoyed that visit. We got to go to the Hogle Zoo, which is a fantastic zoo here in Utah. And then we also got to go to Antelope Island, which is actually the highlight of her trip. I'm so glad we got to do that with her because it was absolutely stunning compared to the first time we went. It was so much fun. We saw so much more um, on this go around than we did in the last one. So after that happened, she stayed for about um, five days, I think, and something that's been going on with me for a while and my family is that my Mimi, she is uh, my birth father's mother, 
and she is my most beloved relative I have. Um, I don't have a very tight knit community when it comes to my family, but my Mimi is probably, I might cry when I'm talk, telling you guys this, um, is the most beloved person to me. And last year she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's and as her disease progressed, we came to realize that it wasn't Alzheimer's and they eventually um, diagnosed her with dementia. And in the past year, almost two years, she's had quite a few falls. Um, she's lost her memory quite a bit. She's um, kind of changed a lot as a person from the person that I used to know. She's changed a lot. Um, and we've just kind of been struggling. She spent 30 days in rehab after a, a recent fall and broke her hip. Um, and fractured her wrist and then she was switched to a different rehab and she pretty much said that she didn't want to, um, to end her time there that she would like to go home so we um, my birth father took the time to set everything up and make sure that she could come home and finish her time at home so that's been happening here recently she recently just got home um, a few days ago and she will be there until I mean, it's time. Um, she is bedridden. She can barely walk. Um, she can not do a lot of things. Um, it's just really hard. And you know, pe people get older. She is 92. She's been with us for a very long time. And I'm just not at that point in my life where I'm ready to say goodbye to the most amazing person I've ever known in my entire life. And it's been a really hard struggle. And it's been going on for a few years now, but in this past year, and then also just in the past few months, it's been really, really hard. And it's made it really hard for me to want to like bring you guys along and act like I'm happy while cleaning and all that stuff. Like I'm just struggling a little bit with the progress that her disease is taking and how it's affecting her and everything. So I took a break from YouTube just to focus on my family and focus on her and focus on, you know, everything that needed to be done in my household without having to think about how I was presenting it to other people. So I really do appreciate you guys for sticking around and being here. Um, it has been a little hard for me because this is going to be the first person in my life that um, will leave and it'll be heartbreaking so I'm trying to wrap my mind around it and trying to like get prepared for it but I don't think you're really prepared to say goodbye or see you later you know um but I really do appreciate you guys sticking around and I hope that you guys do enjoy this video I'm trying to get back into my regular life routine and think about the positive that she's back home and that she'll be happier there and just kind of see where time takes us we don't know when her final time is but we are seeing signs, um, so we're just kind of waiting and seeing and appreciating the time that we have right now. I'm so sorry for crying to you guys on a super motivational, um, happy summer video, but I just thought I'd go ahead and give you guys an update. and cigarettes laying around the room I don't mind a little 
mess Just wanna stay with you And we'll do anything that we want today Won't be scared of falling down no more So take me away
After I sprayed like the pivotal points that I had hard water content, I decided to spray all around my sink because every week I have to I have to like deep clean around the sink because it gets like a little blackness. But there's like a lot of hard water buildup around my faucet, my little hose piece. And two days prior to this, I did soak my hose head in a bag of vinegar. I want to say eight hours. I put it in there at like nine o'clock in the morning. And I didn't take it back out until probably, I don't know, after lunch, like two or three in the afternoon. So like I had it soaking for a long time and it still sticks. But I decided today was going to be the day that I was going to deep clean my sink, which is all around the edge because I do notice a lot of buildup of like blackness or mildew, I guess, around the outside. And then on these top shelves, this that on the left is where I keep that uh, Grove like porcelain tray and it leaves a hard water mark as well as over here where I keep Tennyson's uh, nipple cleaner. It leaves a roundness as well as the, the stopper. So I want to go ahead and give everything a deep clean. And when I was doing it, I was trying really hard to get every single bit of it and I wasn't able to get everything up and I'll show you guys what was left behind. And I'll be doing it again here shortly um, and probably let it sit for longer. This time I let everything sit for 10 minutes. I set a timer for 10 minutes and I let it all sit, which is what I typically do for my bathrooms and it works perfectly. But I guess since I use my kitchen sink way more than my bathroom sinks, it needed a lot longer to sit. So next time I'll probably let it sit for like... Um, 20 30 and I might even do the whole paper towel trick where you soak paper towel with the vinegar and blue dawn mixture and then wrap it around your fixtures because it'll really help like focus it where it needs to be focused I might try that next time I'm also going to show you guys in my right sink where it looks gold someone had told me previously that that can be fixed easily by baking soda and vinegar with a little bit of blue dawn and I've done it literally so many times and it doesn't change colors and today when I was deep cleaning it I started to realize that the top part of that sinkhole it looks like it's just the metal coloring coming off I don't know I'll show you guys let me know what you think I really don't think I can change this from yellow to silver I honestly think it's just the metal wearing off this is base housing it's not the best quality of sink stuff. I can't change my sink. I can't change out parts. I can't do things to um, make my house quote unquote better. Um, it all has to go through maintenance or through housing if they want to change things. But let me know if you've had a sink that turned this gold color on the inside based on your sink starting off as like this quote unquote stainless steel. If you want somebody else, who am I to touch? I met you in the summer When you left, it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer Our love was out of control I've been going crazy without you I'm so alone Too many 
should go home to my bed, sleep it off. But I can't stop believing you're the one I'ma be with tonight. So I will do anything, I will do anything to make you mine. Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. So we got the whole kitchen cleaned up. I wanted to take like a majority of the stuff off of the fridge down, but I'm skipping that because I'm starting to feel that like weight of lack of motivation setting in on me. It is now 3.13. I think I started about 12.30. I'll go back and look at the footage. I think I started about 12.30, maybe one o'clock. So we've been in here about two hours, two and a half hours. And usually it doesn't take me that long to clean my kitchen at all. But when I film, it takes me longer because I have to reset the camera. I have to think about things and like how I'm presenting it to you guys. So it takes me longer because I'm, I'm very methodical about it, even though it comes off sometimes when I'm not. But I try to make sure that you guys can see everything I'm doing and every step of the process because I'm very detailed in my cleaning. And I think sometimes um, my OCD kicks in and I have to like hyper focus on things when they're not necessarily a part of my to-do list like I wasn't planning on deep cleaning my sink the way I did but it, it was bothering me it's been bothering me for a while I've had hard water, hard water buildup all around the outside of the, the sink all over the faucet and all that stuff has been driving me crazy so I decided today was the day I was going to tackle it since I was already in here and my husband was outside mowing the lawn Tim was playing in the yard Nash was outside I had peace and quiet I was watching hidden figures crying my eyes out the whole process while I was cleaning like it was a whole like emotional therapeutic cleaning situation. So I got a lot done in here, more than I planned on. So I'm ready to go ahead and start the decorating process in the kitchen, see what I can um, incorporate in here because I did get a few new items from my mother-in-law. She feeds into my lemon addiction, which I absolutely love. And a lot of the stuff I can show you guys um, that I do have for lemon decor, and I could never tell you where it came from, how much it cost, anything like that, because majority of it I haven't bought. I started loving lemons a while back and I mentioned it to my mother-in-law and she just like, she put it up here and she just started fueling the fire of expressing my lemon love. So a majority of the things that I do own that it is lemon decor are gifts from her and I'm very gra grateful for those. I just got a whole new um, set of lemon stuff. I got a notepad, a really cute like wooden truck that has like lemons and stuff on it. I got a table runner. 
um, from her and I also got a sign from my best friend that was about like a lemon orchard and stuff. So I'm gonna try and incorporate that stuff in this year because I haven't used it before. And then I also recently just purchased for myself because my mother-in-law pointed it out um, at the BX when she was here visiting, um, these like wooden books they had on display and one of them was like lemon related. So I, I grabbed it and I don't know how many use it, but I loved it. So I'm gonna try and incorporate it somewhere in my downstairs. So. Let's go ahead and jump into the decorating process before we start tackling the dining room. I am gonna skip my floors today because my husband just um, mowed this afternoon. And when he mows, Nash loves, I don't know why, but he loves to just roll in the grass right afterwards. And he brings in so much grass. So for the next two days, it'll just be like a vacuuming process in here, but I'm not gonna mop because it's pointless. So let's go ahead and get this process started of decorating and then we will give an overview afterwards. So when it comes to decorating for myself, it takes me a long time to settle on what my final product is going to be. And I really wanted to use the truck that my mother-in-law sent me. So I was trying to figure out a way to use it within these trays. And I wanted to incorporate the blue that I was going to have on the table, but it just wasn't sitting well with me. I ended up settling on using a green from Easter on the bottom for a napkin just to get some contrast. And then I went with the truck and then actually once I like started looking at it, you couldn't see the truck and it was really bothering me. So I ended up removing the truck and added a different sign that said like be zesty, which I think that she got me too, actually. Either she got me it or I got it at Hobby Lobby, one of the two. Um, but I ended up switching out the truck for a different sign and I ended up using the truck on my dining room table. And what I had to end up doing for the to even be able to see most of the truck was adding extra napkins, like the fabric napkins, and folded them and stacked them underneath so that the truck has something to sit on to be able to show the truck. Isn't this a good life? Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks. Citrus in our beverages. Citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my 
When I was about to hang this sign, it is such a simple task, but I was like, Trev, I end up not needing your help because I really suck at hanging things. But I noticed there was already a like a nail hole covered up there, and I was like, okay, someone had already centered this and figured out where the center is. All I have to do is follow it. So I did it, and it actually ended up centered, and I was so excited that I did something by myself with like hanging something, because I always ask for his help, because he's very meticulous with like the tape measure and the level and all the things, and he makes everything fit perfectly where it needs to go. So I was really proud of myself for tackling something by myself, but it was actually not by myself. I also accidentally cracked the ear off of my brand new Easter Bunny. I ended up super gluing him back on, so he looks okay. He'll work for next year again, but I was really sad that I broke that as well. But like I said, when you leave me by myself to do my own things, I tend to mess something up. Everybody's business. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size. Not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down and All right, y'all, we have made it to the end of another video. I really hope that you guys got motivated, whether it's to clean your kitchen, transition to summer decor, or just to clean a space in general. I am always here to lend motivation through my own messy messes or my sometimes tragic house. I really hope that you guys get motivation from that and it helps inspire you guys to tackle a space in your home. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up as well as subscribing if you haven't already because I would love to see you guys stick around. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing out air for a minute yeah. Hey, would you rather stay right here? Make everything Get it.